Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if you, this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the support. Knowing that we're all going through different trials and tribulations and uh, different gates of blessings is well as our gifts are opening up by layers and veils are being snatched off you know it's truly allowing us to see what is meant for us to be in our life so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line out uh, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you're comfortable enough Please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times and you know need confirmation or validation towards a spiritual guidance or you know soul path or even like purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today uh my video the meditation music i'm listening to is very very peaceful and it has all these um, like many pictures of Buddha in it um, it's called eight hours of inner peace healing meditation music sleeping music calming music and I'll post that link in the description box below and uh, the video I'm doing right now is twin flame 101 hey Oka's, when you can wake up and feel thankful for the universe for experiencing for all the experiences when you thought that they abandoned you and it's true you know this morning is like well all the stuff that was occurring for the last few days you know it had my emotions very high it's just like when especially if anything happens to my children I get very affected like that's what, just what any parent and it's just already sucky when your kids are empaths and you're an empath as well and it's just like you're feeling all their emotions like you want to just snatch that pain away and just take it and you know and it was just a lot of things that I got very emotional about um in the last few days and it's just like this morning it was just like really crazy I kept on getting major chills like I was being hugged by so many of my different spirit guides like my mom my dad my grandparents my sister you know even my best friends they all passed away and it was just like I just started crying you know and it, it's just like when you go through so many different things in life and you try to make sense of why did you have to go through this um why did God abandon you you know all these different things came up and it's just like you had to be able to go through those certain situations for you to be able to see your strength when you know it just felt like everybody turned their back on you and you know you try to understand the things that you pray so desperately for just to be able to heal with certain situations or certain relationships and they tear apart and you're just like god why did you do this is what i prayed for but it's like when you pray for certain things and god has something way better for you you know it's just like you can pray on a relationship and it, it's just like next thing you know it's all tearing apart and you're really trying to understand like you really care for a certain person in your life but it's like God has something so much better for you like this person's not for you it was like certain things will come to the surface that can really mess you up mentally and emotionally and you know and then it, it just takes you a uh, it just seems like it takes you a couple of times to go through some mishaps to really see that it was more of a blessing than a tragedy it's just all about how you look at certain situations like there's many days I not sat here and cried and trying to understand why I had to go through the things that I had to go through you know why you know I don't have my biological mom you know it's like my mom took you know my mom that raised me past you know even though she's here and I was wondering why I've been missing her a lot I know her birthday is getting ready to come up next month so it's just like I noticed that I get that way you know like missing her and I'll, or I'll hear her talking to me a lot lately you know for the things that I was going through you know and it, it just really a 
allows you to see where you have your strength at because there's a lot of times where we can open up and tell somebody what we endured growing up and it can really take somebody like oh my god you know but it just like that allows you to see how strong you really truly are and it's just like there are certain things that you know I felt God abandoned me on like you are not hearing me you know what why aren't you why are you not you know bringing to justice these people that did these certain things to me and I would get really upset but then it's just like I had to go through these trial and errors you know to really get to the surface on you know people do these things when they don't understand where certain things are the way they are they hurt people because they have been hurt in their process of being children that you know you're you're placed in certain families that are just so corrupt that you had to be that one to make sense of all these tragic situations that have been placed into your life you're trying to understand how a person can do this to a child you know how can you put your hands on a child how can you do these say these awful things to a child you know this is your blessing and it, it's just like when you when you hear about different people like hurting children and stuff like that when there's people out here that want to produce and can't do it you know and you're like you gave this person a blessing like this and they they did these things to these these children or whatever it's just like so many crazy things are going off in the world where you try to make peace with it but then you can wake up in the next day I don't know about you but it's just like I cry tears of joy because it's like even though things didn't turn out the way I thought it would you know when it came to do with family you know because there's days even though I'm you know not angry with them but it's just like when I see my certain situation it's like I was adopted into a family where you know you, you, you're supposed to be protected by your family and it was just like it was totally opposite like when you I, I was blessed the fact is I could have been able to see the truth with my mom even though it took me that many years and there's sometimes it's like when I see the incidents that me and my children go through I cry to my mom and I tell her I'm so sorry that I did these things to you you know the, the situations that was pushed on me had me looking at my mom in a really bad way when it was not my mom that was doing all that she wanted all the things for me she wanted me to have all the extra love for me to be connected with my family but they you know her husband didn't allow that to happen and it's just like being able to see them at that time you know God made me rewind back that last day I just seen them on my daughter's graduation and I reflected so much strength and they did not like that <laughs> they did not like it but I had to be able to tell them I don't drink anymore I don't smoke anymore you know I handle everything you know sober and they wanted me to say that and I was like why am I telling these people this I don't care what they think but it was like God had push me to say those certain things because they had to know you don't have no power over me anymore you know I separated myself from all the things that you have placed on me or how you had people looking at me a certain way or you wanted people to see me in a certain way you know it was like really hard on me especially when you turn my kids against me as well that was a lot for me to have to deal with now I got to go undo everything you have done especially I don't care about them outside folks but when it comes to my children that was the worst off like you're doing me like you did my mom and that you know that shit wasn't cool to me you know so you know it is just like being able to see the things that has been placed in my life is just been able to you know project here on my videos you know letting people know even though tragic things has happened to you and you try to understand why these things has happened when you can place yourself and tell somebody hey this and this and this happened to me as a child but yet I'm still thriving I'm still pushing on you know I want to be able to push out love and light towards other people because I knew what it felt like to be abandoned I knew what it felt like to be verbally mentally sexually you know physically abused because I don't want nobody else going through stuff like that it's just like you know that's your blessing you had to go through all these tragic situations so you can be an example for somebody else because they didn't get the same results that you did there's that's why I, I, I get emotional very emotional when I can talk to other people and let them know it's okay to be who you are it's okay for you to be going through this because you're gonna get through this you're gonna heal in ways you never thought you were you know you had to be able to experience tragedy for you to actually know that you were truly a blessing you were a gift from God you know and it's sad 
when y'all have come up and told me the things that have occurred in your life and it can really be hurtful you know because you try to understand this is a beautiful soul why would they do this you know you're trying to make peace with that you don't understand why things are the way they are but look at all the blessings that has came from that dark place that's the things you have to be grateful for you know even though it might be hard to see at times when you're constantly going through things but that's okay you know that lets you know you know i don't have to go keep walking around my life thinking i am a product of what these people try to make out of me or you know why did these people do these awful things to me because you're a gift they seen what you were that's the reason why they had to break you down the way they did you know people envy stuff like that you know, when they see that there, there's something that, that you are, but they feel like they can't be, they want to break it down because they don't want to see growth come into a process of this. Strength come from a process of this. You know, power come from the process of this because they see that light in you that they can't see inside themselves. All they see is the negative stuff. So they want to be able to push the negative out on you. You know, all these different things that had to occur into your life you know, to be able to let you know you have a higher purpose. You just have to go through all these trials and tribulations. That That's why it allows you to see your past life. There are certain things that you have done in your life that really impacted you in a beautiful way. So God allows you to go back to that point in time because the answers lie into that beautiful situation. They have to allow you to be able to forget certain things so you can be able to rekindle it. But when you do, it brings all the power that you had from all those other lives to the forefront right now because it's just wanting you to be able to release those things that has been placed upon your life that has hurt like hell that you know you try to understand you know I'm a good person I try to be nobody's perfect but I'm just trying to understand why these things had to happen to me there's so many days I wish I had the answers to why you know a person you know I used to tell my adopted family you know it was a difference if you would have had me and this wasn't planned or you didn't want any children like that but you picked me you picked me and actually I picked you and all this hell broke loose and I had to pay for everything that I had no no power over you know it wasn't my fault that I looked like my dad it wasn't my fault that I did everything I wanted to do a lot of things that my dad also did too you know my adopted father tried to break that like I'll be damned you're not gonna be nothing like that boy you know even though my dad was full of you know a lot of spirits like people felt like he shouldn't even been on this earth like why how is he human you know it's just all these different things people I've heard people explain about my dad how he's made an impact in their life there where they just try to you know like come like come to terms like how is a person made of all this energy is able to project these you know just different things and I see my dad as the same thing but I actually see him as dad you know but other people see him as something else you know but it's just a beautiful thing how he's been able to make an impact on my life you know when he was there when he was feeling sad you know on whatever spiritual journey he's on right now but he still always made sure I was okay and I'm just like how are you doing all this when I, you know you're you know you're in transition but it's crazy how things happen the way they happen but it allowed me to be grateful for those experiences because it's like with my mom being in my life, even though she's not spiritually here, you know, it was a blessing that she was able to be here. And she's telling me, Rosalind, you know, I never expected this, you know, to impact you in your life like this. But, you know, she's seen my tragedies on things that I had to go through. Like my mom was telling me about this incident I was in right now, like in 2005. This is, you know like almost 14 years difference you know between this she had told me there was big tragedies and big heartbreaks I'm gonna have to experience and she wanted me to find get in contact with my dad before all these things happened but she knew you know it was like a prophecy for her and I mean I've never seen my mom my mom is not the type of person to get emotional unless somebody died and with her seeing her face that really scared me because she never pushed out emotions like that so being able to know is like my tragic situations that I felt like I was abandoned by anything that was pure. I just felt like there was something really wrong with me, why I had to go through this. And it's not that, it's totally opposite. You gotta go through trials and tribulations where you feel like, you know, people are just going out their way to treat you like crap. Or, you know, people go out their way to, you know, make sure you're hurt or feel a certain way about you. And you're like, damn, what did I do for you to treat me like this? But it's just the fact is you have to be able to see what they see. 
they see strength in you. There's a lot of people that hated me for that. Like, Rosalind, how can you go through certain, so many different things and you can still find your way to help and make somebody else smile? Because I knew what that felt like. <laughs> you know what? I, I knew what that felt like for people who abandoned me because the situations I was in is so heavy. But for them to be able to see me bounce back, you know, a lot of people were intimidated by that. So you probably go through that as well. People go out their way to be just strike horrible towards you because they see something you disinstilled in you that they don't want you to figure out for yourself and that's when that when you figure that out for yourself all hell's about to break loose for you but it's going to be in a good way because you had to go through all these tragic situations be able to find your strength your power knowing that you have these beautiful gifts that you can push out towards the world and be able to heal the world and all this mass chaos because all these things had to go into your life and the devil and darkness did not want you to see the things that were into you. I see that. You know, I see people in the mirror and they're seeing all these beautiful things like coming out, like in big, you know, big lights and colors. You see every time I move my hand is that <laughs> camera starts acting crazy with me. But yes, when you're seeing all these things, I try not to get emotional with that. But it's just like I've seen so many of y'all go through so much pain and it just hurts me to know that y'all have experienced it. It's because this can really make you look at people differently. It makes you not want to trust people. You know, because you feel like, what did I do to where it makes people want to just lash out at me all the time? You know, when you're when you're in spirit like that and you have that gift, you, you have to be able to look forward to stuff like that. But you cannot allow that stuff to hinder you on what you're trying to do for the world, what you're trying to do for yourself, because you need that love for yourself. When you don't find it in nobody else, find it within yourself. You know, a lot of us go out on the external feeling like, oh, if I, you know, this person will love me, this person will love me. But no, you have to be that person that loves self first. And when you love yourself first, then you'll find somebody who's going to love you as just as much as you love you. So allow things to be the way they are, but come towards the forefront. You see the things that you're scared to see in yourself. Because a lot of times we don't have that confidence to see that we are powerful. We are enough. You feel like, oh my God, how can I do this? You can day by day. It has to go by a process. It has to go by you working on yourself, saying affirmations on what you're going to get through, what you are not, but what you are, you know, in a positive sense. You got to say, I'm that beautiful gift that's going to be placed upon against the world. I'm going to be that beautiful gift to help somebody else heal or being able to see the powers within themselves that they have, that they, you know, they haven't seen. Because sometimes our veils are closed off for so long. You have to be you know, you have to go through tragic situations for you to be able to understand why you are the way you are and what gift has been placed upon you. It takes a lot of tragedy. You know, God had to go through stuff like that. You know, going through all these different things. And what did he do? He died for our sins along other things. But people tried to shut him down because he knew things he shouldn't have known. He said things that didn't make sense, but it made sense a long time ago. All these different things. When you know you can find that God's frequency... Uh, ain't nothing gonna be able to touch you after that so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video y'all i try not to get emotional but when i start feeling stuff it is kind of hard not to but you know i want to be able to bless you with these beautiful vibes knowing you have beautiful blessings coming along your way just prepare yourself for that and don't feel like god has abandoned you even when it, hard times come up, you had to go through these struggles for you to be able to appreciate the goodness as well. So my my uh, post notification shout out, it goes to Lost Peppy. Much love to your silly self. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. And Gabriel, much love to you too. And I will see y'all on my next video. Much love to you. Send out as much love and light as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And know that you are, you know, you you're you, somebody's praying for your better days and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can um you never know your kindness can really take somebody a long way i'll see you on my next video much love peace